Hello guys, welcome. This is Tipika from MyTutorialRack.com and in this video, we are going to see what are the risks that are associated with artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence has a lot of advantages, but there is certain disadvantages are also there with using AI models. So the first one we have is called as lack of transparency. Now, whenever you are using any kind of AI models, you don't know how they have come up with that answer to your question, right? you don't know behind the scene what kind of algorithm was used or what kind of data set was used because data sets plays a very important role in the kind of answers you're going to get from AI models. For example, if you're using an AI model like chat GPT and you have asked the AI with the, a particular question, the answer to that question can also be biased because you don't know and and it can also be inaccurate, okay? Because it depends on what kind of data you have fed to the AI model. And there is lack of transparency there because you don't know what goes behind the scene, right? When people can't comprehend how an AI system arrives at its conclusion, it can lead to distrust and resistance in adopting these technologies. The second risk that you have is bias and discrimination because AI model depends heavily on what kind of training data set that you have used and also depends on your algorithm. If your training data set that you have used is biased or if your algorithm is biased, the output that AI model is going to generate is also going to be biased. So you have to be very, very crucial and it's very important to make sure that your AI model has fed the diverse training data set Set and also it is using unbiased algorithms. AI systems can amplify societal bias due to biased training data or algorithmic design. If any of these two things are biased, it is going to give you a biased output. To minimize discrimination and ensure fairness, it is very, very crucial to invest in the development of unbiased algorithms and also in the diverse training data sets. So that is what we have for bias and discrimination. The third one is privacy concerns. You probably have used AI bots a lot, right? And they tend to get your information and AI is using a lot of personal information as well. It is analyzing a lot of personal data. For example, let's say today AI is used to figure out should you even get a loan for the bank or not. Okay, so for example, the first information that AI is going to collect is going to be your social security number, right? And then based on that social security number, it's going to go and look up all your expenses, all your credit card bills. Are you paying on time? What is your credit score? Everything, right? And uh, so it, it is analyzing all of your private information, all of your confidential information, and then it is coming to a conclusion that should you get a loan from the bank or you shouldn't. Okay, and at what rate of interest you should be getting. So AI technologies often collect and analyze large amounts of personal data, raising issues related to data privacy and security because they are analyzing all of this personal information to give you the answer. That's why it raises a lot of privacy concerns. You are sharing your personal data. To mitigate privacy risk, we must advocate for strict data protection regulations and data handling practices and safe data handling practices. Okay, so that is the third concern that we have with using AI. The fourth one is user spoofing. Now, you probably have received a phone call which kind of looked like a lady calling or a guy calling, but it was actually a robot doing that call. So that is called as user spoofing. And sometimes older people or people who don't know what's going on, they can literally fall into this trap where they'll end up giving their personal information or they can be giving more, more confidential information to this these kind of robots, right? So user spoofing is when somebody is acting like a user. Okay, there, for example, now you've also seen girlfriends, AI girlfriends are also becoming a norm and there is a business out there for that. Similarly, you have AI bots calling you, acting as a human being and doing like one-on-one -on -one conversation with you and you that can led to a lot of scams also. So that is the another risk that you have with the uh, with AI intelligence is your user spoofing. The so the next one we have is security risk. So as AI technologies are becoming very increasingly sophisticated, the security risk associated with their use and the potential for misuse has also increased. Now, there might be a possibility that hackers or malicious actors can use the power of AI to hide hijack your systems or to basically hack into them and 
they can get through your security wall and bypass all your security measures and exploit the vulnerabilities in system because now initially they didn't have this power of AI and now they have this power of AI which they can use to game your system and get that crucial information out from the system and they can use it against you. Dependence on AI. When more and more people are getting dependent on AI for everything, now you see AI writing blogs, AI is used for writing emails, AI used for everything these days. So now you're using less of your creativity and more of AI that can have a certain high impact on loss of creativity. So over-reliance on the AI systems may lead to a loss of creativity, critical thinking skills, and human intuition. So all of this can happen if you are over overindulging with AI. So striking a balance between AI-assisted decision-making and human input is vital to preserving, to preserving our cognitive abilities. It's very, very important to do that. So you have to make sure that you are having a balance between using a tool like ChatGPT and using your own brain, right? So if I'm asking ChatGPT to do everything for me, write me a summary of a particular article or write me uh, an email letter that I have to send to my students. If I'm using a ChatGPT for everything, now what's happening is I'm not using my creative power to do that and I'm more and more getting dependent on these AI models, which is also not a good thing. So you have to strike a balance between these two. Then the last kind of risk we have is loss of human connection. And you've started to see that. A lot of jobs that were first done by humans are now getting replaced by AI models. AI is being used in healthcare, AI is being used in banking, AI has been used in retail. So initially when you used to go to a Walmart store, you had people checking you out, right? Now you have machines that can check you out. Now machines can even make you a drink at the bar as well i've seen that with my own eyes we went over to a uh, cruise and uh, there on that boat there were two robots they were making people's drink so that kind of thing is also um, is also becoming very common so you're missing that human connection you're missing the human touch here because if you're too heavily dependent on ai they can easily take away the, your jobs and can be replacing the common jobs that some long before were being done by humans so increasing the reliance on ai driven communication and interactions could lead to diminished empathy social skills and human connections when there is no human around us then who how are we going to learn the way the power of human connection how are we going to have empathy because we are dealing with robots now right so these are certain risks that are associated with artificial intelligence we looked into certain risks well, number one was lack of transparency the second was was bias and discrimination the third were privacy concerns the fourth one was user spoofing then you have is security concerns dependence on the ai and then last but not the least is loss of human connection so these are certain risks that are associated with artificial intelligence i hope this chapter is crystal clear and I'm going to see you in the next video with another topic. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much and have a wonderful rest of the day.